Where are the best places to eat in Chattanooga? Are you moving here and wondering where you're gonna get some delicious food once you move? Today I am sharing all my favorite places for the various types of cuisine that Chattanooga does very well. So, Adrian Green here, I am investor, realtor, love helping people with all things real estate, and I relocated to Chattanooga in 2020, so I love to do my Moving Monday series, videos like this, where for those who are relocating to the area, we help them ideally with the real estate, and then also with all the other things that come with moving to the area. So today we're gonna have a lot of fun talking about some great restaurants here in Chattanooga. Disclaimer, this is entirely my opinion. I'm not gonna pretend that this is fact, award-winning, et cetera, like that. These are the places that I like to go and I wanna share with you. And if this video is helpful for you, please make sure to thumbs up and like the video and subscribe to my channel, especially if you're moving to the area. I have all these Moving Monday videos to help you out. So. When you're looking at restaurants or places to go, if you're like, well, is there a certain neighborhood or an area that I should go to eat? I will note that Southside Chattanooga, I would say has the highest density of destination restaurants where people will go specifically for the restaurants that are there. Now, good food can be found throughout the city, so you do not need to go to Chattanooga to eat something delicious. Now, the types of food that I think Chattanooga does well is a pretty good pizza, Italian, there's a lot of vegetarian restaurants here worth noting barbecue of course and then brunch is very popular here as well so that's what i'm going to kind of run down each of those cuisines and say where i like to go to eat them all right so pizza my family has friday night pizza movie night sometimes we go out for that and currently my favorite pizza restaurant it's pizza bros in north shore there are several different pizza bros locations i have only been to the north shore one um, when i find some place i like i stick with it uh, what i like about pizza brothers in north shore is they have great service i mean of course the pizza is good the food's going to have to be good to start off with but what sets it apart is they've got really great service for a pizza restaurant i was blown away by the quality of the servers there you know it's not some fancy place and yet these servers were on it and they did a great job it also has good salads which not every pizza place in chattanooga has so they have a few different salads on the menu all of which are really good in their own right in addition to the pizza that's there there's also lots of pizza choices and they have gluten-free pizza options as well. So those are many of the reasons that I like Pizza Bros. It also has good parking, easy parking in the back. Uh, so I would recommend you try that out if you haven't already. And Italian, if you're going to want other Italian food outside of pizza, my favorite is Il Primo restaurant in North Shore. They also have an Udawa location, which I have never been to. I imagine it's just as good. And Il Primo is known for having premium Italian food in a beautiful dining room with great service. They also have gluten-free options as well, and so they generally have a, a wide variety and a healthy menu if that's a concern for you. Moving on to vegetarian. Now, I will note, this is one I have not been to personally, but Cashew in North Shore by Coolidge Park gets rave reviews, uh, and a lot of people I know go there, so I would have to mention that as a quality vegetarian restaurant. I am also going to say a second one that I have been to, Southern Squeeze in North Shore, which is also just right across the street from Il Primo, our Italian winner, uh, is very clean food and healthy. It's also very well liked um, by those uh, who are vegetarian, vegan, all of those things. And I also enjoy going to Southern Squeeze, so that definitely makes the list. Now, the exact opposite of vegetarian, I would say, is barbecue, right? And my number one favorite barbecue restaurant is Sugar's Ribs. It is a well-known destination here. It is on Missionary Ridge, and so when you're driving by on the interstate there, you can see Sugar's up on the, up on the hillside, and so it has a very prominent location. Uh, and that location means that when you go to Sugar's, you get a great view of the city. So it's this cool location with this beautiful view looking out over Chattanooga. And then what I think sets it apart again is even with this beautiful view and all these things that it could fall back on, it still has the staff that are literally like the nicest people ever. You go there and you're like, how are you so nice? They're super helpful, cheery, it's amazing. So um, the food is really good, has great staff, has a good uh, view, and they have goats. 
So you can go see goats on the hillside there and they even let you feed the goats. I forget what exactly it was. It was like some kind of green lettuce, something like that, that you can feed the goats, which my kids love. Um, now in terms of the food, like most barbecue places, a lot of the sides are fried. They have salads there, so they have some healthy options. I haven't tried the salads, so I can't speak to them personally. But I definitely think Sugar's Ribs is a destination to go to if you like barbecue and you're visiting or living in Chattanooga. Now, I also have a second choice for barbecue. Ed Lee's Barbecue in North Shore off of Manufacturers Road is also a really great dependable barbecue restaurant. It has pretty great food. Everything I've had there I've liked. It has a nice, cool, historic building that is really like, enjoyable. It's easy to go to with kids or a larger group. They have indoor and outdoor seating. They've got a couple like playhouses for the kids. They've got big tables. So I like Ed Lee's a lot for bigger groups. And they do have good salads that I've had for a healthy option. Moving on to brunch. Chattanooga loves brunch. The biggest challenge that I have with brunch is wait times. On Saturdays or Sundays, if you want to go to brunch, keep in mind you could wait quite a while. Now, my absolute favorite brunch restaurant is Bluegrass Grill in Southside. Uh, it has, it's, it's been a long time family restaurant there. It has the perfect menu with just enough choices. Uh, the nicest staff who've been there a while. Again, it's this family restaurant and it has a great atmosphere. They have toys for the kids so the kids can play with stuff and not be bored and the building itself is really cool. Uh, so it's a nice place to go and it's easy to get a healthy meal there. They have a lot of different choices. They have gluten-free choices. So for a brunch place I like that they can meet a lot of different dietary requirements. You could have a keto breakfast there. You could have a the exact opposite of a keto breakfast full of carbs and sugar. You can have all of that there. Um, now, the other thing about bluegrass to mention is they are closed on Sundays. So if you want your bluegrass fix, get it Saturday or sometime during the week. My second choice for brunch is the Daily Ration in North Shore. It is a very cool location in a former gas station, and it's more of an elevated brunch version. It's very vegetarian and vegan friendly, not so keto friendly, just as a head up, heads up. So that would be my choice if you're going to brunch on North Shore. Now, an honorable mention, because it's not really a meal per se, is ice cream. Chattanooga has a ton of ice cream restaurants as well. And one of my kids' favorites is Mr. T's Pizza in St. Elmo. Of course, they like to go there for the pizza too, uh, but they really like to go there for the ice cream. It's located at the base of the Incline Railroad, so while you're there, you can watch the railroad go up and down, which is popular with children of all ages, right? And they have a great ice cream selection. So if you were in the St. Elmo area or cruising around Chattanooga and you want to get some ice cream, I would recommend going by Mr. T's. Now, I also want to talk about, and this again, totally my opinion, I don't think overall that Chattanooga does Mexican very well. As a native Southern Californian, I miss good Mexican food. Uh, now, there is a restaurant here that I enjoy a lot. The Mexican there is very different from what I'm used to in, you know, Southern California slash Southwestern United States, but it is very good in its own right. And that is Taco Mamacita in North Shore. I like it a lot. It's just different from what I'm used to in the Southwest. They have a sangria special on Sundays that is worth noting. It's a pretty good deal and it's pretty good sangria. So um, I would recommend checking it out on a Sunday if you can. And it does have, I mean, everything at Taco Mamacita is good. The tacos are good, the enchiladas are good, and they have some salads that are really good as well. So if you like to go out and get a good salad, I would recommend Taco Mamacita for a Mexican-ish salad. And then another thing that... Chattanooga doesn't do as well as I've seen some other areas do is waterfront dining. When we moved here as somebody who's lived on the coast or long rivers, I'm used to having, you know, a good selection of nice waterfront restaurants. And we don't have a ton of them here, which was a little bit of a surprise to me. But my personal favorite waterfront restaurant here is Lake Shore Grill. It is up on Lake Chickamauga at one of the uh, marinas there. It's always busy, FYI. It's a very popular phrase, place. It's more elevated food than most of the others on the list I'm giving you uh, today. And everything I've ever had there has been very good. Um, their prices are reasonable for the food quality, I would say. It's not going to be the cheapest place in town for the food quality. The prices are very reasonable. Parking is really easy. 
big parking lot right in front. You do get lake views, of course. It's family friendly, perfect place to take the kids. Now, I will note it's only open for dinner other than on Sunday brunch. So I've had before where I'm like, okay, we're going to go have a late lunch. Let's go by there. And we pull up and it's closed. So I believe it opens at five. You want to double check that. Uh, but it's only open for dinner other than Sunday brunch. The servers at Lakeshore Grill are really nice. Now it is kind of like that family laid back feel. So it's not the fastest service which just be aware going into that it's more of a slow paced restaurant and then you'll enjoy your time there enjoy the view enjoy the food don't be in a rush okay so that's all my pro tips on how to have delicious food here in chattanooga all right i hope that if you're visiting this area and thinking about moving you're able to visit some of these restaurants and enjoy yourself and when you move here Go to the rest on the list. Again, I lead a team of agents here who love helping people relocate it to the area. All our contact information is below. And if you are interested in relocating, please reach out. Otherwise, come to Chattanooga and have a great meal. Adrian Green, thank you so much.